I'm super excited to be launching my very, very first fragrance with Lord & Taylor called Ivanka Trump. It was really important to me to have a highly distinctive fragrance as the marketplace is very crowded. So it actually took me years and years to develop. I've launched many other categories in advance of fragrance because I wanted to make sure I really got it right. I think it represents everything I want my brand to represent, which is a combination of strength and femininity, grace and sensuality, and I think that really all comes together beautifully with this fragrance. What inspired me in thinking about this fragrance was all the strong women that have been in my life over the years, today as well as in the past. So all the great female role models that I've had the great fortune to encounter, both in my personal life and in my professional life. So I wanted to create that feminine sensuality, something that was transitional, that could take the wearer from day to night. I know I often don't get home before I have to head to an evening obligation, so it really was important for me to create something that had longevity and that you could wear on a date with your husband or you could wear in a boardroom setting. Really it was about initially just isolating the scents I, I knew I wanted to have. So Bulgarian Rose is an absolute favor of mine, it always has been. And we made sure to bring in some jasmine, which I also love the smell of. Amber gave it a little bit of youth as well as some sparkling apple. People have said in the past that you're never fully dressed without perfume. And I think there's a little bit of truth in that. 